Well, folks, what do you think? I think it turned out great. I think that thing looks good. So now that I have the bumper on, it's kind of tuned. It's, you know, I'm happy with that gap. Uh, not so much here. You can see the back's a little big, but that's okay. Over here though, a little large. Like we're gonna have to just slice it and kind of square this thing up to the bumper, but that's okay. Still have to like do the final sand and paint, but I'm really not concerned about that right now. Uh, what I'm gonna focus on is, uh, we're gonna start working on the back bumper. And I haven't dug out the other bumper cause I'm a little mixed in the sense that I, uh, only have, I thought I had two bumpers, but I only have one more of these. And I do have a 59 Buick that doesn't have a bumper. So I thinking, even though I wrecked the crap out of all of this, we're gonna just manipulate and weld and do whatever else to uh, do this little vision that I have here to get this thing kind of doing what I want. So unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately for me, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. But that's okay. Those things happen. Hopefully, I, I have this one, I have the little chunk from here yet. Um, and I have the few, what do I got here? I have this bit, which is perfect. I didn't wreck it. And then I have this one, to which we basically have to, or I do, have to weld that all together again, just so I can have two of these spears that we can kind of modify. And I guess worst case, this doesn't work out, then I guess, you know, if I have to, I'll go attack the other bumper, but for now I don't want to. So we'll see what we can do. So my goal or my plan for this one, we talked about it, everybody uh, likes it. Some people like, want, like the idea if a guy was to French this into here, I understand that, but I don't think I want to go that route because I don't really have it in the front. Well, the bumper comes underneath. You know, if you see the, the way this works, the bumper's there, it kind of follows that contour nice. And uh, like, it's just sort of flush with the body. I guess this sort of gives it a French illusion maybe, but I'm going for we're just gonna, we're just gonna, maybe this is the passenger side. That's not too bad then. Or it's gonna become the passenger side. That means I have a, a good one to work on on this side. So I want the bigger part on the top. So when that goes onto here, and once we taper and gouge this out, like we, uh, we round this to follow this profile, I think this thing can tuck up pretty tight to the bumper. It's not going to look crazy because the tip of the bumper or the tip of the fender still sticks way past it, but it'll just give this a nice flow into the back and then we'll make a nice filler up on top. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to do some work around this area. It's just to get everything to flow nice and come into this thing because right now it, it just stabs off. So yeah. I think it's going to work fine. It'll need a bunch of work, but we can do it. All right, let's get started. All right, we have a game plan. Maybe we just go a little bit. Maybe we don't go as aggressive as I'm thinking. Well, first of all, I'm going to trim this away. Kind of sharpie. Let's get the top where I think we should be. That's not too bad. I think that looks good. Let's just trim this straight. 
And then we can sort of hack it into here somehow. We're saving the hard side for after. Let's just go. We'll find out. Not too bad. Got my Sharpie. Let's give this a shot. This all looks even. Well, it's kind of messed up, right? <laughs> I think we gotta go a little bit more. Should zip zap it. That way I can roll that bumper a little bit. Or roll this edge in there some more. All right, here's the game plan. I am going to tack the bottom in line. Cause I think we're gonna trim it and then we're gonna roll this thing into there. This didn't quite go where I wanted, so we're gonna go and rip through there again. So now we'll try to just follow this and see what happens. Mm, sort of there, didn't quite snap off like I thought it would do. It's getting there. It's not. I feel like if we trim more of this, this is going to roll in and have a very nice look. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to snaggle that thing up in place here. That way I can kind of zip cut this. Oof, I don't know if I can do that. Dang it. Well, I'll put a tack here that I'm going to bust out after. I want to be able to trim into this edge so I can push this up more. You can't tell, but the line is here and this line is like down here. So I want this to roll into it, but I don't want to be... So if I do that, it's still not doing what I want. So I got to get rid of some steel over here. I just need some strength on there to cut. Bingo. Okay, let's cut this out. Oh yeah. Far can we get in there with that? Hmm. Hmm. We gotta do more cuts on the top. That's still not what I want there. Try one of these, see if they'll push and prod things where I want. Might just be what it is. Just doesn't want to play. Oh. Oh. 
Did that pop in place? It's pretty good. Let's give it a little zap here. Oh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> How many people do that? I seem to do it a lot. That's pretty good. I don't like the fitment on the bottom, but right here is good, so. So I got to do a slice there and somehow make these two play pool together. Well, hopefully you folks can see the difference there, so. Man, I might have to take the bumper off of that one. I'll try to do the slice of roux into there. <laughs> try this one. It's got more flat area on it. Well, it's close. It wants to play ball, but it's not quite there. I'll have to work this edge first, but I am liking the look. Let's worry about that. I'm okay with burning holes. Tells me I got my penetration right. I'm just forcefully trying to get everything else to fit. zip through there one more time make sure we got the gapage All right. and a lot of you're probably asking why I'm not taking the bumper off but well, then I can't see what I'm doing <laughs> the overall picture is not there I think we still need to open that one up a bit. All right, how do we do that? Bigger pliers, that's what we need. I don't readily have. <laughs> oh, that went pretty good. All that and no stick. <laughs> All right, that is not bad. This I want down a bit though. I just can't get in there. like it. So we got to add a little piece here. I like this gappage. Although we're going to have to put a brace in there. I got a feeling that's going to just wall up our fender like crazy. Man, I like that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's, let's finish this up. I'll figure some way to do this.
Well, I think we got the overall look. It's got a nice gap. Don't worry about that. Uh, I gotta basically I take the bumper off. That'll be the best way to shave that thing nice. But overall, I like it. Got the flat here. This profile's pretty nice. This I didn't get to any grinding. <laughs> but that just has a much more finished. I mean, sort of looks like a step, but from this profile, it doesn't protrude past the fender, doesn't do anything weird like that versus this side. So, I mean, yeah, it just looks unfinished. So if we finish this little spear, we should be gravy. This one needs a little, a little loving. But the chunk that we ended up cutting out when I did the other side fit nicely up here. I don't know. We'll see how this one goes because, well, I have a, a hotter mess to work with. Although, let's see how we fared from this side to that side. Yeah, I'm going to still have to scab some of this in there. As you can see, what I didn't have, we're going to have to basically weld this back in. And then we can start where we started here. <laughs> oh man, that's okay. I mean, I'm, I just really like that look. It's nice. Who doesn't like that? Well, I went in for supper and never came back, so. <laughs> we're gonna hit it again today. Um, we're gonna start it off with welding this thing together because we gotta have our initial start and uh, our end goal is to make this thing just like that. I have to finish that, grind that up a little bit, but overall I really like that thing. Let's do a little bit of tweaking, but we're just about there as far as this bumper goes, for the look I want. It'll be kind of a, a complimentary thing to the front, I think. Because this side just doesn't look as good as the other side. I think once there's a little bit of primer on that one, it's gonna, I mean, other than it's lower, but kinda, you get the, you get the idea. <laughs> All right, let's get going.
Well, as per usual, nothing ever goes the same one side to the other. This side was kind of a cluster, cluster bunk to start with. So we're about a half inch down, but I think that's just the bumper in general. We're gonna have to give it a little, a little uh, tweak there. We'll figure that out after. I think this profile looks the same. Like it looks like it's doing the, the same. Ah, you know, maybe, maybe we'll cut a little wedge. We'll bring this up. You can see, yeah, not a lot was working the same. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting close. This I'm happy with the gap in here. We're gonna have to take a little bit out of the nose. The tip is just getting a little tight in there. Uh, I think I'll do just a slight little wedge. We'll just bring this up a little bit, fix that up. I thought I made a bobo up here, but it's looking pretty good into this section. Cause it was looking like a pretty big gap, but that'll be all right. And then we'll be able to do similar to the other side where I just trimmed out of this piece to uh, make this filler. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep plugging away here. We're almost there. This, like I say, just needs a little, a little bit. I can't tell. I think that line looks right. Yeah, like I think, well, I don't know if I want to roll the bumper. Well, we should be able to get a little bit and just give it a little, a little bit of give and I think it'll be close enough from side to side. If everything's in within a, a quarter inch, I think it's going to be pretty good for this kind of stuff. Plus I'll have to make some inner brackets and stuff like that. So this thing, when you drive down the road, it doesn't do those bounces there. Somehow we have to get some kind of a brace to attach into uh, the other bracket in the front there or bolt onto it or do something. All right, enough chat. Let's, uh, let's weld stuff. Right, look at that. Overall, that went a lot quicker than the other side. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the bumper off. We're gonna fully weld this. Uh, there's a couple little holes here. We're gonna fill. I think I'm gonna try to straighten a little bit better down underneath. And we're gonna build 
a brace uh, inside the fender here yet, or inside the bumper to come back to the inner brace. And uh, well, hopefully, well, not hopefully, the goal is uh, to get her all cleaned up. I think we should be pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's pull this off. I want to get this, I want to clean up the edge there and get this a little more crisp, same on both sides. Get that nicely rounded out. Yeah, man, I don't know. I know what folks are saying. Like if a guy was a round bar on the fender to go around that, it'd be nice, but I don't quite have that reference in the front. The round bar is there, but it doesn't, doesn't wrap around anything. So I don't think I'll do that. I don't know. <laughs> now we're adding an extra step of work here for no reason, but ah, we won't worry about it right now. We'll just do the, we'll just get the bumper. All right, let's take it off while they're up. folks I think it looks good I like it it gives it a finished look much nicer much now we got to shuffle the bumper over a little bit that way and we got to shim it a little bit that one's got to get tweaked 
a little, but yeah, like it needs to go a wee bit. But that's okay. It's got to come off. We got to do body work. But I'm happy with the outcome there. I'm happy I went the extra step. I feel uh, that drastically finishes it. I, uh, I'm on the fence. The friend, I want to, I'm not going to French it, but we're going to, what would you call that? Like a drift it? Like add a little, like a little drift here. Weld some solid rod onto here, but I'll hold off. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I think that is where I am going to call this one. Um, I think the next round, the plan is going to be to... Well, we got to body work the bumper. We want to do that, get it in primer. We have to uh, get these fenders properly bolted and get these front sections sitting the way they're supposed to so things don't flop around and we got to get some braces into the back. So we need to do that before we do anything else anywhere else. I think I'm going to try to get some color because I think I sort of want to start bolting things on and not taking them back off. I don't want to disassemble the whole truck, paint it, and then put it together. Not happening. I just want to blow in some paint in some of the places. Uh, that's kind of my plan. I don't know for sure in here. Maybe just primer's fine because I can just black out the inside. That might be fine. We'll just do a few braces here and there. But I do have to pick up some one by one, some half inch, just so I can start building the bracing around there. We'll have to figure this section of the, the truck out yet. I kind of have a loose idea, but I don't really know how to make it flow. Anyways, for now, folks, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.